Hi guys, it's Carl here and uh, although I can't be with you, I wanted to share just a couple of minutes to tell you a bit about why blogging is so important from a web design perspective. And it's quite straightforward really in that Google is looking for websites that are dynamic. Google are looking for websites that are regularly updated and are regularly promoted out to the wider social media, which means that you're going to have to have content which is regularly going onto your website. Now, a couple of quick pointers on blogging. If you're going to commit to doing it, do it regularly. If you say you can do it three times a month, make sure you do it three times a month. If you're inconsistent, the, the boxes that you tick with Google search engine algorithms are also going to be inconsistent. But also, because it's competitive, you're going to be up against companies that can do blogging on a very regular basis. So you do need to think, if I'm going to blog once a week, you can make, a, make an appointment with yourself and do it once a week without fail. Google will notice, and every single time you add something to your content, you'll tick another box, you'll get more SEO points uh, in the search engines, and it will only be good for your website. But anyway, I wanted just to share a couple of quick stories, um, really, about clients of mine who blog. Now, when I build a website for clients, I encourage my clients to blog. And if they say they don't want to blog, I always ask why, because it is a key uh, marketing strand for your website. But I want to tell you about Deb, who's an interior designer. Now, she's very good at what she does. And she, from a standing start, um, with, a, with no clients, no website credibility, brand new website, brand new domain, in six months got to the first page of Google for her search terms with no advertising spend, purely on the strength of her blog. And what she did, we just wrote about stuff to do with her industry, designs and stuff that she was working on, designs that she liked. She went to um, Dennis for a week, took photographs, came back wrote about it on the blog, put stuff up there, but she was doing it very, very regularly. And then she was also tweeting out those blog posts, so she was using the blog to create the content, using Twitter to point everybody back to that content. And it worked so well uh, that Deb is usually placed second or third in, in, in worldwide rankings for her search terms, purely on the strength of her blog. Now she's up against bigger, more well-established um, competition, but she beats them all purely because she's more consistent with her blogging. Another one of my clients is a, a small web, uh, some small law firm in Leicester. And again, they're at the top of the uh, second or third usually in the Google rankings for their search terms, even though they're up against much bigger competition, who often have marketing departments and marketing staff. So, and it's purely on the fact that they write blog posts very regularly, usually um, three or four a month, sometimes as many as six or seven, but an, a minimum once a week on average and it just means that even against companies that have got you know hundreds of thousands of pounds to spend on a marketing budget including staff and including a web presence including SEO services it means that you can still compete even on a worldwide global Google search the key there's a couple of keys really is to make sure that you have a good content management system and WordPress is the best for blogging but also make sure that you are consistent if you're going to commit to blogging once a week, you've got to commit to blogging once a week. The point is doing two this month and then none for the next few months and then another five of that month. You have to be consistent. Every time Google comes back and sees something new on your website that's related to your topic, they'll give you extra SEO points in their search rankings for your website and for that particular blog post. My website, uh, a buzz website design, um, has got a blog on it and we put something up a couple of times a month typically. Now, there's two of the blog posts that are on there that comprise about 40% of the traffic to the website, of the whole website, and that's just split between a couple of blog posts. So you don't even have to go mad, you just need to be consistent. I hope that helps. Any questions, come back to me. Bye for now.